Hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to pop on quick. I wanted to kind of chill but be busy at the same time this weekend. So um, the lovely ladies at Hobbylicious sent me one of their album kits which you can find on their website now. Um, so if you pop over to their page, I've linked it in this video, so it's Hobbylicious. They've got some fantastic albums available with different um, kits that you can get with it. And of course, they've got lots of different embellishments and stuff on there. Um, and I had a go at one. And anyone that knows me, I'm absolutely horrendous at making albums. And this one's a little bit more uh, to it as well because there's a box. So absolutely 110% if I can make this, then anyone absolutely can. Um, the papers I've used are the AB Studio Never Put the uh, green set, but I decided that the designs were a bit too big for something this small, so I decided to go with this set as it had some designs that were better. So I've used this sheet here and this big floral sheet, and I used the side parts on this sheet, so you'll see what I mean in a moment. So first of all, let's look at the album. So it comes this kind of th three or four main parts, if you like. So the th the first main part is this kind of flip bit, which is all one section that's wrapped around this internal box. So the flip goes from the front all the way around the back. So that's all one section. Um, another piece you've got these is this kind of porthole bit. So this is two layers um, with a dome, plastic dome that goes in the middle. The second part is, a uh, third part even, I can't count, is this box. So this section here is a MDF box and then inside is the album itself. So, whoops, let me get it out. So let's have a look at what I've done. So it's, um, they give you two options as well, which is a really, really cool idea, I thought, for the album. So this is the one I've done with the string. So this, the pieces here is pierced with holes, so you can do string. There's also an option if you want a solid spine to then put your own papers in. So if you wanted that concertina inside and then to insert pages. So they give you those options. Um, it comes with this really great tape. I think it's like book binding tape. If it's not, it's very, very strong. And I'm not a lover of glue, so I really loved this album idea that I could make the kind of construction without glue. That really appealed to me. And I was a little bit dubious at first. Is it going to be strong? Well, this tape is so strong, there's no worries at all. And I like that... Um, because it's coloured, it gives you a nice finish as well. So, um, yeah, these come in three sections. So you need to uh, put them together with the tape. And then you're kind of um, scoring these sections of tape, which glue the kind of tape together in the fold here it will make sense when you see the instructions so you get the instructions with the kit you get kit contents and then full instructions on how to make every part of this i've done mine a little bit different on the strings because i'm pretty useless as the string bit i'm i never get my head around it and then i've just fastened a charm on the end of mine that goes over like this this word is actually so you may have seen on our website or page the word, the phrases that Hobbylicious have designed for us. So these kind of things. Um, well, we've actually got a second phase of that coming anytime now, which is just words. So I'll show you a few. I won't go into detail because this video is about the album, but we're going to get lots of just single words instead. So this is one of them. Um, this is a big flower from Hobbylicious. I believe this isn't out yet. The ladies will correct me. But I think it might be coming soon. And this is actually the centre of another flower. Um, and then, yeah, so attach this charm. I've done paper all inside. I use the same paper inside as outside. And that, So that's the album part. Um, going back to the box. Um, 
So I've used the striped paper on my box edges and also on the back. Um, I had a bit of a boo-boo with some ink that had got on my hand and went there. So I just made a thing of it, which actually it looks, looks alright. Um, I've used lots of Hobbylicious MDFs on the front and resins. So we've got um, flowers here. These are big and small versions. Uh, leaves here, here. It's two on each side. And then we've got resin. So this is a resin. That's a resin. And that's a little resin. Um, out of that same striped paper, I stamped some um, butterflies from the Thinner Bear set we have. The stamp set Spread Your Wings want to say yes and then I don't know if it's going to show up very well on camera but I embossed that with some black sort of sparkly embossing powder um, and then this is the paper again from the AB Studio set and I used scraps I had left from the album on the side parts and that's kind of it so um yeah, as a non-album person, I'd say there was occasional things that challenged me, but on the whole, it was very, very easy. Um, I struggle with the string because I always struggle with the string. It's nothing to do with the kit. That's just my brain. I always get confused which way I need to go, but that's just me. The instructions are very clear. Um... I think that was it really uh, oh so the uh, album has a magnetic fixture so what you're doing is gluing to this side the hello morag you're gluing the porthole bit to this side and then the magnet is on the opposite side so that it still opens obviously otherwise you won't be able to open it and it's um yeah really clever and i love how it looks it just looks so great um, really sturdy by having the wooden box inside so you know you could put something quite heavy in there you could have your jewelry in there or anything really um, I think it's five and a half inches let me get my so the box is or is it six inches the box is six inches square yeah and then the album inside i think is five and a half so let's see yeah so the album yeah it's five and a half square inside so it's a really nice size to work with um so if you wanted to it to be a bit more cost effective as well you could use six by six papers to decorate um i don't really work with six by six papers anymore but yeah, if you wanted to save some money, that would definitely be a way to do it. And I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with mine yet. So I haven't put papers inside until I decide what I'm doing with it. Um, I'm thinking it's a gift, but then I'm thinking it's really pretty and I may just keep it for myself, actually. So it might become my private little photo album, I think. Um, something, yeah, maybe some family photos in there I've gone for love as the title of my album so yeah maybe it'll be some family photos so i just wanted to show you that so the ab studio uh, papers never never land you can find on our website thompsonscraftsupplies.com and then pop along to hobbylicious and have a look on their page and there's links to their website there as well there's some different options of albums um that you can find on there and they're great and just yeah a really nice quality so do pop along there and have a look thanks for watching bye